Hey there, let's go through setting up the Shout account and maybe a couple of other fun things, all right? So I am at my dashboard right now, and this is kind of like a, it's not really like a fake account, but it's like a mock account. Um, so it'll really function, and I can really save things and show you how things work, but it won't, like, people can't use the text line that they'll see, and you can't opt in, and it's just like for showing cool stuff, all right? So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to come over to my settings over here and I'm going to change the name. Let's see. We'll call Mel Demos. Why not? All right. You can change your company name and your info. We will upload a picture. Um, 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 um. Somewhere there's a just a just a ran one that I use often with a as a. Oh, here we go. Here. That's one I use. There we go. Save changes. So there is your, how you can upload your picture. And now we're going to come to this contact information because this is super, super cool. Now, um, you can, there's a little spot where you'll be able to use it as like a contact card that you can take a screenshot of um, and you can actually like utilize that awesomeness. So I'm not going to put in my personal phone number because one of the reasons that I love Shout is because I'm able to keep business and personal stuff separate. I don't want people doing that. But I am going to hop over to my Instagram and I will grab that link. Uh, my Facebook page. That there. YouTube account, put that there, and then I don't have Twitter, um, I don't have a personal Pinterest account, just my business one, um, it's already associated with a different, with my real account, and I don't have a website that I want to put in there, so I'll save that, and then if you were to come back over to the profile, the dashboard, sorry, you could see this cute little thing. And you could just screenshot like this what it, using whatever your keyboard shortcuts are. And boom, you have a super cute little contact card. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. All right. And now, ordinarily, this is where I would sync it with my Facebook. Now with this being a demo account, I'm not sure if that'll work or not. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Now, this is where you would continue to follow the wizard and select your pages. I'm actually not going to do that right here, simply because my Facebook pages are synced with my real shop account. So I'm gonna cancel, but that's where you would have done that. Um, text messaging stuff, little tips and tricks for that. Um, here is where you can check on your referrals. You can get your code, although it's on your dashboard too. You can check and see how many people have subscribed and then um, how many credits you have. And this is where you can select how you want to use those credits. All right. And then under messaging, I don't have anybody blocked. And then I haven't set up any. Oh, look it. Yes, I have things in here. Topics that are associated with bots, and tags, you can sort them how they're um, categorized there. All right, so that's settings. Let's see. Your dashboard, this is where you can see this right here, this new messages. This is actually like first time opt-in messages. Uh, it basically means messages from brand new users to your account. 
These are unread messages, open conversations that you haven't clicked to done on, and then your average response time. You don't even want to see my real one. Um, let's see your usage. And then this is a really important spot down here. These are announcements from Shop, so make sure you check those because there can be awesome stuff in there. All right, let's see your inbox. Here you can, these are different messages. When you are finished with something, you mark it done. You don't lose those though. You can always flip over here and this is all your done messages. All right, there's your inbox. You can now schedule messages. This is amazing. You just follow the wizard. Um, and I, when I say wizard, I just mean it like walks you through step by step. It's a guide. All right, group messages. So you can schedule something to go to just one person or to go to a group that you have. Contacts. Look at this. Upload CSV. I would be very careful with that. Manually create a new contact. Book actions. Look at that. You can select people and like add a tag to a bunch of people at one time. Add them to a group. Clean them out. Here is groups that you already have created. Now yours, if your account is brand new, a couple of things are gonna happen. The first time you navigate to one of these topics, a little panel is gonna open. It's gonna give you some tips and tricks. And the other thing is, is you may not have any groups in here. All you do to create a new group is follow that. And you will create a new group just as easy as that. All right, I'm gonna actually delete that one though. We don't wanna keep that. All right, bots. Here are different bots that are in your account. Some may already be there as part of, the, of a default or you might use somebody's bot link like mine and those will open up in your account. All right, if you want to share your bots, you can create a new bot link right there. You just go through the process, you select your list. For instance, those are some lists that I have already created. Let's see. Let's do test list, test uh, bot share list, and we'll say we want that in it, and that in it, and that in it. Great. And now, in this panel, and you can create different lists um, that you want to use for different things. All right. And we will go ahead and I don't want to keep that actually. Message templates. Oh, here's a cute little panel. So you can create message templates that just save you time if there's things that you say over and over again. All right. I believe we're soon going to be able to share those also. And we already did settings. So that, oh, here is, in, in case you ever need to get to it quickly, here is your referral info. It's up here, right by where you can quickly create a new message, group message, new contact group or bot. All right, so that is just a little mini tour of Shout.